I got one. All right. It's uh, 107, <laughs> December the 9th, 2022. I'd like to call this meeting to order with a word of prayer from Brother Coleman. Let us bow our heads. Father God, we just want to thank you for today. We thank you for this meeting that we have in with the city councils in Hartford, Kentucky, Lord, we ask you to bless us and give us an understanding and let us be on one accord and we just want to be faithful to you and to the people of Hartford and <coughs> let them get an understanding of what's going on with the ordinance and everything. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Alright. Before you have the uh, meet minutes of the last meeting. I'd like to ask for a motion to accept the mi minutes as read as soon as y'all go through it. And... Thank you. I didn't get a copy of those this week, so I'm not going to be able to. Should I abstain or vote? Mm. Yeah, I mean, you can withstand if you want. Okay. Or you can let me vote twice, Stacia. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works for y'all. This Florida, you'd be tossed in prison for that now. I make a motion that we accept the minutes as written. Oh, I have a motion and a second. Which way everyone you want. America. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like so. Motion carries. So you can put special stone. Okay. Um, Terry, do you have anything to bring to the table at this time? Not that you're already not aware of. Okay. All right. On old business resolution 22-04, the Clean Water Program House Bill Number One. Um, basically, this resolution gives me the okay to sign any um, paperwork to further this um, process. So I, um, I'll ask for a motion to accept me to be able to write a signature for these grants. Okay. Motion by David. Tony by second. All in favor say aye. Can I? Aye. Aye. I want to ask a quick question. Okay. So Lisa forwarded me the email from KIA and it was a conditional letter with all these exhibits on there. So there was a conditional letter we were to sign together back with exhibits one through three and they were then going to send us the grant agreement for review and passage. Is that not correct? Right, but right now the only thing they're needing is his approval for a signature. Okay. And I have I just want I don't want us to get ahead of ourselves and approve something we haven't seen right. yet. Here's the that first part. First and second page. For him to sign until he do we do the res until we do the resolution and he can't sign that. Correct. Okay, so to get the next step, which is going to be that assistance agreement, mm -hmm. my understanding is this is a conditional letter. Okay, so we sign and authorize um, this conditional letter 
with exhibits one through three. Is this part of one through three? Because this was exhibit four, wasn't it? Because the only what the thing is, I read that resolution is that we were approving the grant assistance agreement. We haven't seen it yet. So we need copies of. Yeah. So. What? Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I just don't want it to be on there dated that we approved then, the resolution, the grant agreement before we even received it. Well, our problem that we have is, is I already have an invoice from Luckily that I need to get up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is all through part of that ARPA stuff, is that right? Okay. Uh, it's not ARPA, it's clean water. Yeah, that's cleaner water. I just I really would like to see that actual agreement from them before it's the next part of my end. So we need to send all that back, the, at least the, the signed letter that's passed that, and one through three with all the information about the vendor, which would be local, and send that in, and then they should be sent, basically my interpretation of that, is they will send us then the grant agreement, okay. which we will know for sure what the actual agreement is, and then that's when I can certify that everything's been properly read and reviewed and published. Okay. Okay. But we go ahead with this. I mean, both. Yeah, I mean, it's going to have to be approved. The only thing, I mean, and this is what we're going to do. So, yeah, so we're all we're doing is giving him authority. Yeah, we're saying we're accepting the grant award and, and designating him as the authorized individual to sign all the related right. documents. So, okay. okay. So, this is okay. That's fine. Okay. So, I have a first and second. All in favor say aye. Uh, Polls like side motion carries. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for clearing that up. Um, secondly, is the funding on Gillespie Street's project. This is a, as y'all are aware, this is a two hundred fifteen thousand dollar project. Two hundred fifteen thousand two fifty five. With that being said, the Cl cleaner water program grant that's been awarded. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is one hundred ninety four thousand eight twenty, and basically we'll have to pay for all this up front, and we're only going to be out twenty thousand four hundred thirty five dollars at, at that time. So that's a pretty good chunk that we'll be saving in the process, and I, I'm proposing that we take this out of um, occupational tax account to go on and get this project on its, which it's already going right now. Um, so I'm proposing for a motion to um, take this out of uh, occupational with the understanding that we'll, we will be getting that money back and we'll only be out Do you know when that money will be back to us? Um... How long did it take them on the last one on Senate Bill 36? You can't, I mean... There's really no estimated time on it, really. There's not. I mean, sometimes uh, okay. it's six months, and then yeah. sometimes it's, you know, it's a month. I mean, a lot of times what Lisa will do is she'll gather up all the receipts and everything we've paid and submit a pay and request. Just, and, and submit it to them yeah. on end. Let them know, hey, okay. this is how it is. So. Okay. And this, uh, this, is, this project here is going to help us out with tremendously on, as well as the expansion with the hospital and Clay Street as well right. because um, we've got, had a lot of water leaks in, in uh, Clay Street. So, so the, uh, need a motion to accept the bid? Well, no, basically yeah. uh, take, take it out of occupational. Oh, okay. I'll make a motion to take it out of occupational tax. I'll second it. Got a first and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Um, yeah, just so everybody to clear that up a little bit. <clears throat> Once that money's back, we'll only be out the twenty thousand four hundred thirty-five dollars. So um, that's all I've got. I don't have no new business. I just a little short, sweet meeting today. Um, Mary Bell, do you have anything to bring to the table uh, for discussion? Because we can't talk about anything. Else. Well, no. <laughs> no action. 
No but accident. <laughs> the Bennetts are going to meet with uh, Taylor about the sidewalk to see if we need okay. to okay. take care of that for them. They're on main good. union. All right. David, do you have anything for discussion? Yes, uh, you know, the lot behind my church, the young man had it, and he asked George to bring it up to the meeting, and George thought it was pretty high, 95, and he asked him to put the lot back off he had, had it surveyed, and he thought some off of me, too. <laughs> so, uh, he, come, he came to me and asked me, if I could get it, we would take safety and time. Let's, um... I know we can't. Right. You know, right. Um... But that's the lot for the parking lot. For the when, when did it get appraised? Uh, Has it been last, appraised yet? Last year. Um, when? or maybe a couple years. The problem is, with that, is when David took over that church, title laws in Kentucky are yeah. really kind of a strange thing. Right. And there's no official record of him obtaining a deed for that property. And the deed that I found dates back to the turn of the century. And uh, when he surveyed it, he consolidated part of his property with David's property. So now we've got kind of messy title. And so by paying him for that, there's no way for us to get good title to that whole description without basically a lawsuit. And then the last time we had talked about this, there was some concern over maybe David's church wasn't even going to close. He thought about maybe selling to the city there, and it just kind of got washed. But we can't take any action today, but that's something that might be. Well, we'll look. Can I ask a question? Can I, if I buy this property from him, because I'm already joined in there, and then just turn around and say, I can ask to put that y'all's arms off and just sell all of it at one time. You see what I'm saying? I can get the deed. But that's still what she's saying. That's, that title well, is can, still in, in yeah. coherent. And we, well, that'd I, still be the process that we'd have to go what through. What I'd have to do, what they call it. Um, oh. Probably need a quiet title lawsuit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <coughs> um, you and I can talk later. Yeah. yeah. Tony, do you have anything to bring to for discussion? Okay. Chris, what about you? you got anything? Jason? Nope. All right. I appreciate y'all. Stacia, I didn't even ask you. You're sitting on the phone being quiet. You got anything for discussion? I don't have anything. Thank you. All right. I'll ask for a motion to adjourn this meeting. I'll make the motion. I have a, I have a first. I, I second. All in favor say aye. Ah. Ah. like sign so. motion carries. Thank you all. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, you all. You too. Bye bye. All right, bye bye.